Good morning, friends, and happy Monday. Welcome back to another vlog. Um, the guys are back here working. I am so happy about that. They showed up at 8.30 today. What? This kid has been showing up at like 10, leaving at 12.30 for lunch, coming back, and then leaving at 3. It's like he's not getting anything done. But today, he is here at 8.30, and he has four people helping him, so I think he's on a mission to get some stuff done today, which I am so thankful for. But good morning. Um, I've already made up the bed. I've already folded towels. I have already put stuff in the wash machine and in the dryer. I am about ready to go take a shower myself and get myself ready for the day. Brian is at an ear appointment, then he's gonna come home, and then he has to leave for one night. He'll be back tomorrow, I think. He's not sure if he'll be back tomorrow or Wednesday. We're hoping for tomorrow. That way he's only gone for one night. Um, but he has to go to Warner Robins, Georgia to do a presentation at the base there. Um, and I today planned on going out and doing a few things. I wanted to run some errands. I wanted to run into Publix. I needed to go to Target. I want to go to Hobby Lobby. I want to go to Kirkland. So I'm thinking all that stuff is what I'm going to do today after he leaves. Um, but right now I'm gonna actually go take a shower and get myself ready for the day. Um, we leave for Disney um, in one week and two days. We are just like eight days away from our trip, I think it is. And um, where, where are we at? Let me, let me just make sure here where we're at with our Disney countdown. Yes, eight days until Disney. So excited, so freaking excited. I cannot wait to go experience Disney with my sister and Hannah and Courtney. It's just gonna be a fun, wonderful couple of days of just girl trip and making memories. So fun. Uh, my sister and I, we had a garage sale at my mom's house this past weekend. Um, I made a little over $200. Um, I, I don't know what everybody else kind of made, but everybody made pretty much, I think, maybe around the same not exactly sure nonetheless i know i cleared 200 dollars. that 200 dollars is in this drawer right over here with my disney gift card <laughs> and that's all that's going to disney with me as well um <clears throat> But anyway, um, my sister and I, we were talking, and my sister has not been to Disney since she was 14 years old. So, so much has changed with Disney, you know? And um, it's just, it just makes me feel good that I can, um, I gifted her this trip. So, uh, and that's exactly what I did. I gifted my sister this trip. So, um, we're gonna have so much fun. And I'm looking so much for, I'm looking so forward to it. And I'm gonna go take a shower and I will see you guys lickety split. Alrighty guys, so I actually have a bunch of stuff in the back of my car that I need to drop off at the Goodwill. This is just the stuff that did not sell the other day at the garage sale. So my brother took a load to the local Goodwill there in um, my mom's area and then I am taking the rest of the stuff to our Goodwill. And then my car will be completely cleaned out and no more garage sales ever, ever, ever again. <laughs> I hope we're not doing any more. We've already said we're not. Like we've agreed that we're not. It's just too much of a hassle. But anyway, I'm gonna drop this stuff off and then I think I'm gonna run to Kirkland's and then Hobby Lobby and then grab some lunch slash dinner and come home. And that'll be my day. Hello and good morning, friends. How are you today? Today is Tuesday, you guys. I'm gonna take you guys outside in just a second, as long as those guys don't show up just yet. It's eight o'clock, it's a little after eight o'clock, it's about 8.06, and they have not showed up yet, so I'm gonna take you guys outside in just a few minutes, and I'm gonna show you guys what they did yesterday. Such an amazing job with work that they did, they got done yesterday. Tomorrow the stone is coming in, so they should be able to stone the whole thing. We got the electrician coming in sometime this week. We got the patio guys coming out sometime this week. So we are like cranking it. We are on a roll and I am like so happy about that. But yesterday I said that I wanted to run to Target and Hobby Lobby and Kirkland's. Well, the only place that I ended up going was Kirkland's because I got a later start to my day than I had expected. So all I did is ran into Kirkland's yesterday. Oh, I take that back. I ran into Home Goods yesterday too because I actually forgot that Home Goods was, I'm trying to tuck my shirt in. I actually forgot that um, Home Goods was over there. And so I'm like, oh, I think I'll just run into Home Goods really quick. So that's what I did. Um, I got a cute little table for outside when um 
it's all done. Cute table, I'll show you guys. I picked up a beautiful quilt and some two, and two pillows yesterday while I was at, um, where was I at? Home Goods. Um, I got some pillows at Kirkland's. I'm gonna show you guys right now all the stuff that I got. And then we are headed back out again because I wanna go to Hobby Lobby today and I wanna go to Target today. Plus I need to stop off at Publix on my way home. But let me show you guys what I put on my bed because it just looks beautiful. Alrighty, so this is what I have matched up with my bed for this like summertime. I was just wanting something completely different, something but not pink and the greens and all that good stuff. So I just kind of decided to stick with my white, obviously my white comforter that I got from, where did I get this from? Um, oh, Pottery Barn. Like three years ago when we moved in here, I had bought this and um, I love it. But there's one problem that I'm really getting sick of is all of the peeling. So like it's peeling up. So, and I'm just like, ugh. But with all this stuff covering it, you can't even tell. But anyway, so this is the pretty quilt that I got yesterday at Home Goods, And it actually works out so perfect. This is exactly what I was looking for with these colors in it. And then this waffle like blanket I got off of Amazon and I will link it just in the description box below if you guys are interested, love love this waffle blanket i just kind of spread it across the bed um and just and, and then put it on this on top or put it on top of this gorgeous and then those two pillows yesterday i picked up while i was at home goods as well i knew i kind of wanted some like plain tan um or ivory whatever color you want to call that pillows to put on the bed and there they are they're so pretty they're almost like a sweater ish material on the front with a pattern uh, but they just look so pretty like on the bed with all of this stuff so there is my bed for like you know summertime and it's just so pretty and i love it um now let's uh make our way to the other room and i'll show you guys all the other stuff that i picked up and what i actually did in the butler's pantry actually we're gonna go outside first and i'm gonna show you guys um how far they got since they're not here yet oh let me turn this on too I gotta turn that fan on okay Whew. i think tomorrow when brian well if brian gets home tonight we're gonna put this stuff together tomorrow night all of our furniture but anyway so there is the fireplace. It goes all the way up and they, you know, arched it in on each side, which looks amazing. And then of course it looks the same on the back, except for obviously it just looks like all this brick. Um, but yeah, that's, um, and it goes really, really tall too. So it goes way past this, obviously. So that doesn't catch on fire obviously but um we are so pleased with how that has turned out and we are so happy about how big the opening is for the fire itself because that's exactly what we were hoping to have is a huge opening um big fire big flames i can put my pot in there we can make chili and all that good stuff but yeah um and then, like I said, tomorrow, this is going to all get stone. And then they are going to be extending our patio out, you know, all the way out here. And then all the way around the whole thing and all the way over here. So it's coming together. You see my little sitting area right here. Um, these are a little treasure that I found the other day in the trash. Um, somebody was throwing them out and Brian and I pulled over and picked those up because I thought those would be such pretty little um uh, flower planter boxes so I got four of them out of the trash and I am super super excited about them I don't know why somebody was throwing those away they're perfectly fine nothing's wrong with them and I snagged them so I'll be filling those up and as you can see we started kind of putting flowers around everywhere um, I have a hanging basket over there and of course all the stuff still here on the patio I got a basket here flowers or pot flowers and then these are the other two um, little trash treasures that I found. I got four of them. I don't know where the other one. Oh, it's over there. I kind of, I just set those flowers in there for now until Brian gets home when we can plant those in a pot. So, but yeah, it's coming along. It's, it's looking good. And I'm, I'm very, very excited for it to like be done and, uh, we can sit out here. It'd be so nice. We sat out the other day. It was so nice. And um, the, we get perfect shade in there, like in the evening too. So it's nice and cool and there's a breeze. And once we get the fans put up and everything, it'll be great. Um, let me turn this off too. So, okay. So this is the um, little round table that I found at 
home goods yesterday and again it's just a short little table it's going to be perfect for the furniture that i got and just to sit there in the center so i love that the lid does not come off of that it's just it's all solid piece one solid piece so i'm happy to get that out there and then let's go to the butler's pantry Alrighty, so here in the butler's pantry, last night, I don't know, it was probably like 7.30 or something, and I was just like, you know what, I think I'm going to try to do that um, peel and stick paper, so I did. It did not take me long at all. That stuff is amazing. I absolutely love the way that it went on. It's actually so good. It's so perfect. It's just a perfect, perfect thing to put back there. And I think it looks really, really good. So I'm very happy about that. It kind of gives it more character over here, kind of dolls it up a little bit more. And that's exactly what I was looking for because I was just kind of sick of looking at that plain wall. And I think I've said that to you guys before. So I'm loving the peel and stick. It's actually really, really good. And I have plenty of it left over. And I'm like, hmm, what else can I use it on? <laughs> All right, dining room is next. Alrighty, so I got two new dining room table chairs and I ordered these off of Amazon and I absolutely love them. I put this one together last night just to see how I would like it and the other one I have to put together today which is sitting right there. Um, the legs and everything are inside of there and you just pull them out, screw them in and away you go. But there it is and I love it. It just looks so nice in here. It just kind of Dresses is, dresses it up a little bit and adds a little bit more character to it. Um, so I'm going to put the other one together later on and then I'll stick it down there. All of these pillows are the ones that I have been purchasing for the furniture outside. The little couch and the chairs and all that good stuff. Um, so I did get those two yesterday at Kirkland's, those two. So obviously you guys can tell the theme is like black and tan. <laughs> That's how I'm going with my... Uh, little theme outside. Um, this stuff over here, I have to move this and I'll have to get this out of the way because I've just kind of moved it over here for now. But I got this new mirror yesterday at Kirkland's and I had a round one here and I took the round one down and I put this one up. I just need to um, spray it and clean it. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, I love it. And I need to take the screw out up there and then fill in that hole and then paint over that. So that's all covered up. But anyway, so yes, I got all this. Uh, yesterday at Kirkland's, I got the mirror, I got this round little vase, and I got the, they're called lemon leaves. So these lemon leaves I got yesterday as well. Um, those lemon leaves were on clearance. I don't exactly know how I feel about them, like sitting in here like this, because I really, I don't know, they just, I, to me it just needs to look fuller, but I don't know, sometimes four twigs is enough. I got six, I think, yeah, six. One, two, three. Four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, six. Six of those. But anyway, I think it, it, it looks okay for now. Um, and then I ordered this really pretty, I don't even know what you call it. Um, I have, I know the name of it. I just can't think of it right now. But anyway, um, it's just like for liquor. And I put some vodka in there to, you know, add to it because that's what you do. And then I just set these four glasses out that came with it. So I got that on Amazon as well. And then um, I also got this at Kirkland's yesterday too. This was also on clearance. And I just kind of set it and draped it over here. So I love that. So the big thing over here is where that big, huge hall tree sat. And again, I've had that thing since 2016 and it was just time to part with it. And I am not sorry about it. This, this was in the living room and this looks amazing over here. It sorry, just, could you say that again? it actually just fits this wall perfectly. <laughs> It actually fits this wall perfectly, and I absolutely love the way that it looks and the way that it came out. It just kind of, again, dresses up this area a little bit and kind of gets that big, huge, ginormous thing out from this uh, entryway. So that's what, that was a, that's what I was striving for. Uh, let me turn my dining room light off, and I'll show you the empty spot in the living room where another like big cabinet is going to go. Okay, so right here on this wall is where that... Um, mirror in that little cabinet I showed you just a second ago was at that it was all right here so basically what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna take this stuff down and then I'm going to fill in the holes and I'm going to paint that where they where it needs to be painted where I filled in the holes and then that cabinet's gonna sit right here it's about six foot tall and I think about 
five foot wide. Um, so that's gonna sit there. It's absolutely a beautiful cabinet and I cannot wait till it gets here. Um, and it's got glass doors in it so you can see through it. Um, so I'll just kind of rearrange all this stuff. I'll probably do something different with that clock. Maybe take it outside because I don't really want to put it anywhere in here anymore. Um, so I'm just kind of rearranging things and just kind of doing something different. But um, for now, it's going to stay there until that cabinet comes. Then I can see how I need to um, get everything together. Um, but you can see like right here, I, this is where I had my stupid little bats and it actually got covered up from that mirror. So I have to fill these little holes. It, they're not holes. They're just paint chips. So I have to fill all those little spots in and then I need to fill in some holes that are right up there and fill in the holes from all this stuff. And uh, yeah, it'll all, it'll all come together. It'll look really, really nice. But, uh, but okay, so I'm gonna actually get out of here while I still have my driveway available to me um, because they um, usually take up my driveway and I had to have them move yesterday. So let's head to Target and let's head to Hobby Lobby. And um, I'm looking for something in particular. And when I find it, I will know what it is and I will show you guys. So they're actually finally getting the Target back in order from all of the construction, but not all of it is done yet, but these parts are, and it looks so nice over here. I just love how fresh this looks. I love it. Love how fresh it looks. It just looks so nice and clean and open and modern. I love it. Um, I just walked past this and they have Too Faced stuff here now. I just ordered two new palettes because they said that they no longer carry them. But oh my God, this is Too Faced. They have MAC, Urban Decay. What? This is amazing. These are all on clearance. So if you guys are looking for new cups, these are all on clearance. These ones are $7.49. I do like the white one. I like it, I like it. I'm so addicted to like cups and stuff. Am I like the only one? But it is on sale for, let me see if I can find a sticker on this one. This one doesn't have a sticker. But this, oh, those ones don't have stickers. The black ones do only. Hmm. So they still have that rug. So that might be the one that I go with. And they're on sale for, well, let's see, 50% off clearance that one is, but that one's not yet, I don't think. Oh, maybe they are. They're 50% off. Oh man, we need to come back then and get that. Ah. Uh, so they have these ones left as well. So those are on sale too, the jute ones. I'm thinking I might get jute. That way it's like solid, plain. I'm thinking that would be nice for that area. Okay, we'll have to come back and get that when Brian gets home. Alrighty guys, hey, I am back. And I just wanted to show you guys a few things that I picked up at Target and Hobby Lobby. Um, I ran into Hobby Lobby really quick just to see if they had what I was looking for and they did. So I'll show you that in just a second, but let's first do the Target stuff. Okay, I've already kind of put the groceries away. I kind of got milk and some lunch meat and some, oh, and I stopped at Public. So milk and lunch meat and cheese at 
um, Publix. I got some more of my pretzels at Publix. I got some more Jello at Publix. And um, this is one thing that I picked up at Target. This is like a Lazy Susan that I'm gonna sit on top of that little table that I'm gonna sit outside that I showed you earlier. I just think this is gonna look nice. Um, I got this candle to go on it as well. And I got these coasters to put on it as well so people can use coasters while they're out there. And then it just kind of spins around. So again, it could you can put drinks on it, whatever. And um, this is not a centronella candle, but it is lemongrass or lemon pie. So I don't know if it's, it'll work. I'm not worried about it. Um, I got some bread that is for Brian, not for me because it's not gluten-free, but he loves this kind of bread. Um, here's the jello that I got. I got him some chips ahoy cause he's always asking for like dessert and I don't have dessert made like every night. And he doesn't like the pretzel salad stuff that I make. I got some lemons. Um, I got some more of my downy bliss. I got some Kleenexes. Um, we were totally out of mayonnaise, so I picked up some Duke's mayonnaise. Um, I got some Red Hot Original Frank's sauce. I saw these at Target, and they're diced jalapenos. And I'm like, that is awesome for putting in, like, my salads and stuff. That way I don't have to dice them myself. They're already diced. Um, Target, got those there. Um, I got some more Zyrtec. Um, I got some of this 30 pound picture wire because I think I'm going to hang that mirror that I showed you guys up, um, showed you guys earlier. I'm going to hang that up in the dining room. That way I don't have to take down, um, that screw. And then I got some Zequil. I got some more shampoo because, um, I'm leaving next week for our Disney trip. So I got some, this is the, um, eucalyptus and potent aloe. It, I love, this is my favorite scent right now. Um, so I got the shampoo and the conditioner and I got some more of the Tide Pods. Um, Brian also texted and said that he is on his way home and his presentation went fantastic. They absolutely loved it. I said, great. So he's on his way home. Yay. Um, the table, it's upside down. I'm going to flip it around. I'm going to put it where it belongs. And then I'm going to show you guys the table that I got. Alrighty. So this is the table that I actually picked up at Hobby Lobby. I had a white wooden table there with some drawers. And again, just trying to change some things up, make things look a little bit different. So I kind of like this combination. Um, I have like the home sign there, that little like hook rack thingy and then I have this table and now I'm in love I think it works perfectly this table was about a hundred dollars um, at it was like ninety eight dollars um, at Hobby Lobby and I absolutely love it and yes I did move that new candle like over here because I actually kind of like the candle there and then I'll try to tr maybe try to well I won't maybe I will try to find a, um, a centronella candle um, when I'm out, that way I can keep that outside as well. Cause you know, you need a, you need that central centronella candle to uh, keep all the bugs and stuff away. But yeah, there's that, there's that area. And I actually really, really like it. I like the, I like the way that it came together. It cut all the wood and then the black and stuff just kind of draws everything together. So, yep, love it.
have both of the chairs now at the table which I absolutely love I think they worked out really really good and they're really really pretty so I love them very very nice very happy about those very happy with them um, I need to come in here and dust and mop everything uh, mop the floors I mean and dust everything but I am not gonna do any of that until I get back from Disney because when we come back from Disney that next whole week I am going to be cleaning my house from like head to toe dusting mopping everything because on the 25th is when I'm having my big family party here. So I don't really want to dust now and then have to redo it again in two weeks. So I'm just going to let it go. Let it go. Let it go. I'm going to let it go until I get back. Um, that way I'm not like kind of like doubling up, I guess you could say. But um, I also think that I might, when I go out again sometime this week, is get a couple of like pictures that I can stack you know how you stack some pictures or whatever I think I'm gonna do that like right here in this area like a taller one and then like a medium one that I can like fill in this area because I like the mirror hung up kind of sort of in a way I also kind of liked it down but if I can fill it in with some pictures there or maybe not let me know what you guys think should I take the mirror down and put it back here should I put two pictures there like you know stagger them or whatever or should I just leave it as is? I'm just kind of curious to know what you guys think. I also tweaked all of these um, lemon vines or lemon leaves, what they called them. And I just kind of placed them inside of this um, vase thing a little bit differently. And I kind of actually like the way that this looks now. They're not all like flimsy and floppy and hanging out all over the place. So I kind of fixed them, bent the little wires a little bit and just kind of shoved them in there and just kind of foofed them out. So it kind of looks really, really nice. So just curious to know what you guys think of this area. Should I take the mirror down? I already gave you guys the options. Let me know what you guys think in the description box below. Alrighty, so I'm actually gonna go ahead and end this vlog for the day. I hope that you guys enjoyed hanging out with me the past couple of days. I gave you a lot of um, home updates, some new decor updates, just a little bit of things here and there. Um, so thank you guys so much. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, huge thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next one. Not sure when that will be. I know by the end of the week, I said I would probably start packing for our trip. So maybe look forward to that one. Maybe first of the week next week. I don't know. I'm just kind of enjoying these like small, short, well, not short, but these kind of one-dayer videos for now. I gotta get back into the swing of things, but thank you guys so much.